Good All luck right. to you, sir. Good luck to you. Wow, my hands are cold. All right, straight up golf, Anthony. Straight up golf? Straight up golf. You just stroke by, you see the guy? Yeah. So, he looks like he's walking. Yeah, I think we're good to go. That's it's cold. That's where you want to aim, right? Yeah. Should be fine. Great spot to be. Great yeah. spot to be. I'm like 220, 210 or something. I'm not really looking to put this on the green. I'm trying to hit it short left. It's about, I don't know, 44 degrees right now. It's cold. Thin over the, oh shoot, go. That would have been really good. It hit that last tree off like 40 yards. All right, one second, get that downhill lie. That was really solid. What did you have in? Uh, 173. Okay. Yeah. Start getting too trouble. All right, big carry in the air, big bounce and roll. Go, baby. Yeah, that's not enough. Nice. Good par. I'll take par. Never doubt. Bogey. Dripping out. All right, Anthony, today we're gonna structure today's vlog a little bit around uh, kind of like a discussion about the 2020 PGA Tour and the upcoming season and everything. Perfect. So let's, let's uh, who do you think, that right now Brooks Kepka is number one mm -hmm. and Rory McIlroy is number two. Brooks Kepka has a knee thing going on where he needs surgery, but he's putting it off. Mm -hmm. Uh, hoping that the rich, blood rich platelet thing is mm -hmm. going to work out, the PRP, I think. Right. And um, this time next year, so let's say, let's say January 10th of 2021, who do you think will be number one in the world? Right now, I like John Rahm. He's been playing super well on the European tour. Um, won the race to Dubai, has played really well all the last year. Um, I like him, but I like John Rahm. Yeah, I think I think he could play well, and then you got Tory coming up, which he plays well at. Um, and I think he's a contender at all the majors because he hits the ball a long way, and if he can get his uh, putter going, he, I think he's good. I could see him having like an awesome West Coast because I think he does really well at waste management. He loves that crowd there. He right. he loves he 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 gets fired up. Yeah. Um, there's that. Because that's the guy I was gonna say is gonna have a huge year. Is John Rahm. Yeah, I like I like John Rahm. Yeah. It's funny because like you hear all these golf prediction shows and stuff, and Brooks Kepka is always kind of left off. But I, I mean, other than being like kind of bitter every once in a while, he doesn't really have any personality you could like point at. Right. Oh, what a beautiful drive. Great job. Thanks. All right, did you think, so did you think Rory or Brooks should have won the player of the year? Brooks won a major and I think finished no worse than yeah, I, fourth. I, I, I was but thinking about this the other day. Rory I think, won three, right? I think, I think it was Brooks. I think Brooks should have won it. Just no, I because. Think, I think Rory should have. I get Rory won a bunch. Stay there. 
Yeah, it'll be All close. Right, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, you get the Rory won a bunch, you said. Yeah, Rory won a bunch, but I, I mean, what, Kef Kefka didn't finish worse than like third or? In the majors. In the majors, but then he had two other wins. But I don't know, I think a lot of people wanted Rory, Rory to win it because I think they like Rory better than Brooks. But I mean, to, to place that high in all the majors, I think that's pretty solid. Yeah, that's kind of like when the FedEx Cup was first couple of years it was going, there was a couple of guys that, or there was, there was some math formulas that people did saying like, hey, somebody could win the Grand Slam, they could win every single major tournament and still lose the FedEx Cup. Right. Because it was kind of like a playoff atmosphere, a reset kind of thing. Yeah. The same kind of people are saying, I think, that, that Brooks should have been the player of the year because there's a certain type of golf fan and you might be one, one of them that like is really thinks like everything else is just like a warm up for the majors. I don't know. I think they're, they're the majors for a reason. I mean, they're not the minors, but right. Um, like did Rory win the players? Yeah. So that's where that kind of comes in. But I mean, it's still. What tournament would, would you like to win the most other than a major? Players would be pretty sweet. Um, I don't know. I would like Tory Pine, so I'd like to win the Farmers. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd probably say I'd probably say the same thing. Or um, or the Genesis at Riv. I'd have to win anything that said like Open. Like, yeah. The Texas Open has become not that big of a tournament. Uh -huh. But that would just sound cool. Yeah, that'd be you pretty know, sweet. Like, oh yeah, I'm a Texas Open champion <laughs> in California. I, I would like to win. Um, what JT just won, the, the Tournament of Champions, because that would imply that you won the year before. Yes. And then you win, win again. That's the main thing, more than money, more than like prestige or anything. The main thing that I think 95% of the tour is going for is just like job security. Like they yeah. love, like you win and, and you know that like- You got two years or you, you got, got- two years, you know. Talk us through this shot, Anthony. Okay, um, right side of the fairway. Ball slightly above my feet. 118 to a front pin. Uh, I'm gonna play it 120, 122. Uh, it's a full, it's a full gap wedge, full 50 degree. It slopes back to front, like back to front left. So I'm gonna take this probably right in between the bunker and the pin, and then have it kind of spin back to the front left of the green. Okay. Not bad. It, so should be just. I didn't see it. Where to go in the into the deep? Um, it's it's just maybe five feet below the pin. Oh, not bad. I do that so often in cold weather, like thin wedge shot. Well, you can't really feel your hands, and I think that's no, what it's it. Just, yeah, it's something to do with my level going up and down. The ah, shoot. I have no control of my swing bottom. Good. That's a bogey. Ugh. Good par. Parski. What'd you say? 240? 240 to the pin. 44 degrees. Yeah. I'm two over, Anthony's even. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna take it at that right bunker and if I hit it in the bunker, awesome. Overdrawing just a bit. Maybe 
be in the front left bunker? No, I'm, I'm above the hole. I got about a 25 footer. Oh, I see it. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah, good shot. You hit that like a full shot? Yeah, pretty much, pretty full. dry it might be all right all right so let's talk about a, a guy that's gonna be is like promised everyone that he's gonna be unrecognizable by the end of his off season which is coming up in like a week I think Bryson, uh, Bryson? yeah so he was 190 I think or 195 something I, like that I think we're gonna start calling him uh, Bryson de Schwarzenegger <laughs> on the Hank Haney podcast they're calling him Michelin Bryson. man uh, so he wants to get up to 230 or 235. So that's adding 35 or 40 pounds to his weight, which is like 20%, uh, which is a lot. And he's looking like, like if you haven't paid attention to golf and you saw him a couple of months ago and then you saw him at the President's Cup where like they, they didn't even buy him the correct size shirt. Like, uh, or maybe the shirt size was okay, but the arm size, it was like, like cutting off blood to his arms. Thanks. Like, I can have my opinions on like, oh, I think it might be weird for a golfer to get that big, blah, blah, blah. But like, no one's questioning if like, Derrick Henry's gonna go put on 20 pounds and just start running people over. Everyone thinks it's fine, but just cause it's golf, everyone starts to get like, oh, right. it shouldn't be that big. It's gotta be about flexibility. Right. But it just cause it's different. Well, the main thing is that, I mean, he's, he's doing it in a very short frame of time. Right, yeah, that is that is the weird part. In golf, you're really connected to your body feels and things like that, you know? Oh, good putt. Good Never bar. doubt. I would buy it. I, I, I trust him, I mean. Because all things else being equal, if you're longer. Yeah, I mean, if you look at everyone that's won this year, they've been bombers. There you go. That's got a carry. Beautiful drive. Ah, uh, I'm in the bunker. I think both of us are gonna be in that bunker. Get past that. All uh, right, good bounce. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Yeah. All right. So, how many wins do you think Tiger will have this year, then, if any? Um, I think he can win Bay Hill. Um, I don't I know don't what. I think he'll do at Torrey Pines because that's coming up, and I, he has he has confirmed that he's going to play there. I mean, I he he always has a chance to play well there. I just think um, he's got to hit his driver well. If he doesn't hit his driver well, he's going to have a lot of like, what, six iron, five irons from the rough. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. And, and well, the thing about this kind of new Tiger, like Tiger, if I think if you look at his driving stats since his back fusion surgery, uh -huh. if the back fusion kind of took away one of his biggest swing faults or misses. As far as, like, he always used to talk about getting stuck and everything. Yeah. It's almost, like, impossible for him to do that, like, kind of, he called the, his, like, Olay move. Yeah. Where his, his hips go way out in front. And yep. Like, I don't remember last year, like, there being a day where it was, like, Tiger was just constantly in the trees, you know? I think his driving is True. That is true. Better. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, let's make a putt. So you think one win for Tiger? Yeah, I think he's gonna play well, but I mean, the odds of winning are so, so low, even for him. 
Will Tiger collect another major? I, I think he gets another one. I don't know if he wins one this year. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, he always has a chance at Augusta. Yeah, when I think about it in terms of just winning another major this year, I think like, oh, come on, winning a major is just, it's just so hard and there's so many good players. Right. But if I think about it in terms of other people like beating Tiger, like straight up in that atmosphere, then it seems a lot more doable that Tiger's going to Right, he, he's Tiger Woods, like. Yeah, I mean, it's not only just like the name cachet, which he's always had, but also like, just like watching him play against other guys recently. Like at that Zozo thing, like, the main thing is like he's in control of his golf ball in a way that I don't think he really he's he really has been in like a real long time. True. The only thing that stops Tiger recently, the only thing that like holds him back a little bit is he kind of gets caught neutral sometimes and he's just <laughs> he's not making birdies, but I don't see him making like giant mistakes anymore like he did at one point. Right. Uh, that's another bogey. So when I think about it like that, I, I think the majors are his best chance because you don't have to make quite as many birdies and you have to be a little bit more creative, but. So you think it's like the, the Brooks, like he shows up for all the majors? Yeah. Get up. That's good. Yeah, so I say Tiger wins twice, one of them a major, and uh, I think maybe, yeah, I think twice. I could just get, he would win more, but I think his, his schedule is going to be a little more limited. He doesn't just doesn't play that much. Good shot. You're like, I would say that he would win more, but you can see like when he won that Zozo thing, like he, he was treating it like a major because he really wanted to play in the President's Cup. Right. And he wanted there to be absolutely no doubt that he belonged on the team. Like after he won that event, um, there would have been a riot if he, sa he, sa he said he was gonna have, uh, you know, Ricky Fowler on the team instead of him or something like that. So, so I would say he would win more, but like when he's playing Bay Hill and other things like that, that he's won like 10 times, like I don't think he's that excited for it, but he will give it his, his uh, full effort on the majors, so. That was nifty. Good out. Oh, great shot there. That. That'll work. Great shot. Thanks. 40. Ooh, and, and it's only 15 bucks. That's why I like it. I was surprised too, because um, Skylinks is 20. Two That's it, it's like twenty eight. So one of them's like almost thirty. Skylinks is for the back nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah because and then Rex like twenty three. Yeah. And uh, then Eldo's Rex twenty. And Eldo are the same. Okay. This is fifteen. Yeah. No. That's why I like playing yeah, back. Start coming up here more for this thing. And it's not in bad shape, and it's fun from the rocks. That's a good shot too. Go in. You see that video I did with Monty about uh, th those kind of shots, the pitching shots? The, the back to 20 through to 50 or whatever, like yards? Yeah, yeah. So you'd make a backswing like you're only going to hit it 20, 20 yards and then you'd just hit it as far as you're, you need to hit it. Yeah. I did that on that one. That's kind of what I've been like. I watched some of those videos like with uh, TXG and yeah. the lefty, I think Matt. He got a lesson and he was, they were talking about 
how he takes it back too far as well. And I was like, oh, that's what I do. Like, shoot. So I, I, full swing or his, 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 his like in-betweeners, his 60 yard shot. So I've been working on taking it back, you know, 50%, yeah. maybe a little, and then, and then just being aggressive through it instead of trying to kind of finesse it in there. Yeah, you, you end up uh, deselling. Because at the same time, if, if good birdie, Thank you. if you, um, if you de if you go aggressive through it, you're gonna get more spin on it, and so like you can you can have more spin with your shorter shots. Because if you start to like slow down, you're gonna lose yeah. lose some of that. I get in trouble when like I start like if I try to adjust where the ball's gonna go with those pitch shots with trajectory, I do well. Uh -huh. But like if I try to make it spin, yeah, yeah, that's when it gets too a little too fancy. You get all kinds of weird shots. There's a good birdie. There's the putting pressure. There it is. Yeah. Good job, Anthony. Thanks. <laughs>